Okay, so Brian Jones is dead. What'd you guys do? At the time, I mean, you got a bear in mind, we was pissed out of our heads. We'd had those well, please. We'd a bottle of fucking vodka. We'd been drinking beer, drinking that Yankee whiskey. We was fucking well out of it. I think I was more out of it than Frank was. He seemed to know a bit more about what was going on than I did, because we pushed him under for this last time, and he just didn't fight. You know what I mean? He just just went fucking limp. Like, he's... I don't know. I'd, it was strange. Did you hit him? No, no, no. Never hit him once. Put my hands on his shoulders, pushed him under it. And then they were on the head and pulled him up by the head and pushed him back. He went on for a quarter of an hour or, or more or less. I think 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, the last Next. time out, and he just fucking went down and... He didn't... didn't fight, didn't do anything. And, Frank then, it was Frank then, kept pushing him. I mean, I'd got my hands on his, I think I'd got my hands on his ass. I think, I'm not sure, it was round there somewhere. But Frank had got him by the shoulders, and he was pushing him and pushing him, and he weren't fighting back. Mm. He, he weren't doing nothing. So, you know, then all, we, we thought, fucking hell. And we let him go, mm. and he didn't do nothing. Frank says he's fucking dead. He says he's fucking dead. I says, what? He says, he's fucking, let's get the fuck out of here, for fuck's sake. Now, Frank, he'd got, he'd got this old Ford Anglia. And, and I said, fucking right old rack it was, but, mm. And we got a couple of birds there as well. I don't fuck know where they were. He says, quick, get out, get fucking dressed quick. Don't even bother getting dressed. Just grab your clothes and do it in the car. Mm. I'll get the birds. Let's get the fuck out of here. So we jumped out of the pool and we left him there. But he weren't, he weren't at the bottom, but he weren't at the top. Mm. He was like sort of halfway. Like. Brian's father, Lewis Jones, a retired aeronautical engineer from Cheltenham, was externally rather cold to Brian, but privately thought the world of his profoundly talented and troubled son. Here, Mr. Jones speaks out for the one and only time in his life following Brian's death in July of 1969. Up to a certain point, Brian was a perfectly normal, conventional boy who was well-behaved and was well-liked. Liked, I suppose, because he was well-behaved. He did his studies, and he was quite a model schoolboy. And then there came this peculiar change uh, in his early teens. Uh, at the time, I suppose, he began to become a man, where he began to get some resentment of authority. It's something we hear an awful lot about now, heard less about then, but it was becoming apparent with him. Uh, it was, he seemed to have, firstly, a mild rebellion against authority, which unfortunately became stronger as he grew older. 